MVPs? The MVP, the MVP on both sides, man, I have not thought about this whatsoever, but I feel like we're going to get some kind of redemption. Is it going to be Colt McCoy? I hope it is Colt McCoy. Just He's so we could just go ahead. I'll I hope look it, it is, up, but I think Murray's playing. I always want to see us face the best. And to be honest, mm-hmm. people will probably call me crazy. I don't know who's better for him, uh, Kyler Murray or Colt McCoy. You know what I'm saying? It's easy to be like, oh, my God, how could you say that? Kyler this. Ky-. Hey, man, I bet if I sat down and really dissected tape and really looked at their stats, it, it th- mm-hmm. th- there possibly could be an argument. But regar- regardless of that, I would love to see us get redemption versus uh, Colt McCoy because they put a beating on us at home uh, last year. And, yeah. and Colt McCoy was the main reason, looking just sharp, uh, throwing beautiful passes. So I would love to see our I would love to see either Kyler or Colt, Colt McCoy trying to take advantage with D Hop and the receivers they got over there. Um I would love to see some more interceptions, man. Fumbles, yeah. turnovers. Oh, I do you, you know, we got to turn the thing over. And man, I'm gonna just say who funga, man. I want to see it who funga keeps stacking. I want to see, I want I want to see who funga be the one that just has seven or eight picks. Um, I would love I would love to get an interception. I don't care who it is. It could be Drake Jackson tipping a ball up to himself. You know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna just go ahead and say who funga, and then on offense, um, I'm gonna say CMC is gonna uh, come back and have another big game because he didn't last week, and I feel like that's kind of Kyle Shanahan's mo. Whoever kind of didn't do something as yeah. much last week, maybe all of a sudden you're gonna see uh, something huge. Or hey, now I'm starting to think about Kittle. We didn't see we seen Kittle with one catch. You know, I'm kind of thinking about who do they got back there. One of their best defenders is Buda They've Baker. Got Buda Simmons Baker as well. Simmons okay. is a really good linebacker. One of the okay. yeah. So, so that I, might be more tough. That might be a little bit tougher yeah. for someone like Kittle when you have a Buda Baker. When you have a Simmons, um, it'll be interesting. But I'll say CMC and Hufunga. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Uh, I'm gonna go. They have not had a very good run game, allowing 4.5 yards per carry. So I'm going to go either one of the running backs. I want to see them split carries like they did against the Chargers. That was fun to watch. You had CMC leading them early, and Elijah Mitchell really providing that spark. And that was the thing that really changed that game. So I want to see that again. Um, I think a big matchup is DeAndre Hopkins, who in the past... Mm -hmm has been known to rip us. I remember that um, week one game in 2020 when he had like 17, no, 18 targets, 14 catches, absolutely absolutely shredded us. That was the worst. Uh, But we have a better corner, and I I would imagine that they say, Charverius Ward, you're going to stick to him like glue. Like you have to. Yeah. And just just there, it feels like they're – their statures and their the size, uh, just their body types. Both of those guys, I feel like it favors um, Cavarius because they're very similar. I feel like in height and build and whatnot. So I feel like whenever you're real similar like that, it's going to be hard for like a Hop- Hopkins yeah. to really like dominate. You, you know, he's not he's not like a speedy receiver. Now a guy that is is Rondale Moore. That's a guy that has really been coming on strong. He had a good game. I can't really, I think I can pull up the numbers right now. Uh, Rondell Moore, yes. 13 targets, 9 receptions, 94 yards. Good game for him. Um, And back to the point with Kyler Murray, he said, Cliff Kingsbury said that he would make a decision like game day. So it's really, it's up in the air. Um, So we'll see. We'll see. Should be interesting. Uh, this is another one of those matchups with the Chargers where they're giving up a lot of uh, a lot of yards per carry to teams. So this is a good matchup for, for the 49ers where I think they could control it at the line of scrimmage and kind of run it down their throat. Overall, the Cardinals defense has not been very good, except last week they beat up on the Rams, but the Rams are terrible. So, <laughs> Oh, man, that, melt, that meltdown is so sweet. So, 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 so beautiful. Like, I mean, hey, they were talking for... You know, I'm pretty sure you came across a few Ram or two, you know, even in your chat. You yeah. know what oh, I'm yeah. saying? And I mean, they were relentless on every single YouTube channel for months. And it, it, it's just a beautiful thing. 
Yeah, it is. And <laughs> I mean, I, I do I do shows with Teo time, so it's like I want to keep it respectful. But I have had a people a few people come in. It was like right before week one. This guy was like, You guys suck. The 49ers winning. He was like a troll. Uh, yeah. but it was like, man, yeah, it, it is nice. Nice for sure. And this is probably in the last few years, this is the biggest collapse from a Super Bowl team that I've seen in a while. <clears throat> Because usually Super Bowl teams come back and at least have a decent season. You know what the difference is, though? <clears throat> I'm pretty sure if we won a Super Bowl, you would not mm-hmm. catch. I don't know. Maybe we do have some weird, some weirdness, uh, some weird faithful that would. Um, I just feel like we would not see a whole bunch of our fans going into Rams mm-hmm. chats. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. That's maybe it, may, maybe it does happen, and I just don't know it because I'm not there to see it. But maybe, I think maybe yeah, like I, Tommy Huxley or somebody like that. Yeah, who, you know who, him? who knows? Yeah, I'm kind of thinking about all of it. Like, ah, oh, maybe I should pump the brakes on that one. But yeah, and just the way they did it, it was like every day and every night. Like, oh, you know, like I, I I wouldn't go to a channel for a while. I'd come back a month later. Like, holy crap! Like, marketing pro is still in here. Like, holy. Like Jesus Christ, these people, these guys are relentless. Like, <laughs> yeah. Uh, <sighs> before we go, uh, Grandizer 12, Four Hours versus Cardinals, Mexico game, Abla Espanol. Yes. Um, do you think there, I think there's going to be a majority, a vast majority of Four Hours fans more than Cardinals because oh, yeah. I've looked up like the fan bases and we're actually like really big in Mexico. Oh, yeah. Hey man, we won five Super Bowls and the 49ers are worldwide. Like, um, true. We, we truly are worldwide. Like the faithful, like they, it, it is no joke, man. State to state to state, uh, Germany, Australia, like, um, it's real. And I know for a fact the Cardinals, you know, um, respect to them and all that, but, you know, they're not they're they're not on the 49er faithful caliber no. not even close so it's going to be wait so does this count as our away game it does right no a home uh, game um i'm not i'm I not can look up sure here. i know it's going to be a home game but uh yeah i'm not sure um yeah i don't have uh, any there was a guy that laid out the schedule remaining schedule yeah at arizona so yes this is a count so this is a road game. game oh so this counts for us for a home game? Yeah. Yeah, for okay. the Cardinals home game. Because the next matchup, okay. uh, Grand Eisler laid it up earlier on. It's at Cardinals. So, it's not great. I mean, you don't never want to see that. But, I mean, it's whatever. So, It is what yeah. it is. A, a majority of our games are home games. So, I mean, you know, not all NFL teams got that luxury. So, that's pretty dope. Real quick, uh, before we let you go. 49ers favored by eight over under is 43.5. We kind of do this every, every quick rapid fire. Um, I'm going to say that's 20, that's 20, almost 22 points for each team. Um, I'm going to say slightly over that because that's 44. That's 22 point. Yeah. I'm going to say over. I think, I think the Cardinals defense isn't good enough to stop. I don't know. Yeah, I I, I want to say over, but then I just think about Kyle's slow pace. And then I think about That's how true. good our defense could be. And it's a division rival, and we know this team. And it could be – it could easily be another game, just like the Chargers. Like, yeah. you know. And then watch this be the game where we just mollywop them and just, like, put a <laughs> beat – and put a beat down on them. The beat down that we were supposed to get versus the Chargers that a lot of us expected. Watch this be the 34-17 mollywopping. And, um, ah, this one's tough, man. You, mm. And it's on the – and it's in Mexico City. So that kind of makes me feel like sometimes when you go outside – I feel like whenever you travel, you never see high, just really, really efficient, high-scoring games. There's a little bit of uncomfortableness. Even if it is exciting, there's a little bit of um, just uncomfortableness, I feel like. Um, yeah. So, so I'm, I'm going to go I, ahead and say under for now. It could, it could switch in the next couple of days. True. 
I, I would like to see uh, if that grass, I want to know, I'm going to look it af up afterwards, but I want to know if that grass is real or not. Good point. Good point.